kind of seen seven years of almost tranquil um, tranquility at the castle. Nothing really seems to go too wrong at Hogwarts anyway. Whereas this year, they're literally blowing the place up and destroying it. I was amazed when, when I saw what they were doing to our beloved Hogwarts on the Great Hall. They've literally tore it down, which is it's quite upsetting to see, actually. Um, saying that, they've got some great special effects, so that's a joy to see, to, to watch that. It comes up to this almost like Western standoff where we've all got wands, wands uh, pointed at the ready, uh, and then it all sort of kicks off in a fiery, in a fiery blaze. Um, spells fly left, right, and centre. Young Crab can't quite control himself and manages to set the bloody place on fire. <laughs> so it causes a bit of a bit of a bit of a dangerous scenario for the three of us, um, and we're actually left stranded. And growing up, because bear in mind a lot of us have been there since eleven. 11 till 21 is pretty much where you learn who you are and what you want to do with your life um, and what sort of person you are, you know. Uh, and I think you know, definitely for Daniel, Rupert and Emma, all three of them have grown up um, superbly here, especially Daniel. I mean, you won't, you won't meet someone who's, who's better, better educated and, and better with his tongue. He can, he can talk, with, talk to any, any uh, level of, of man, woman or child, make them feel comfortable. So I think in that respect, we've learned a lot and uh, we've taken a lot from the place. It's, it's only going to be positive things, really.